guys welcome to my channel today i'm gonna show you how to make this another quick and easy hair accessory these are cute um small cute touch to uh, your hairstyle and if you do want to make this uh, piece stay tuned so all right guys so these are the materials you will need a lot um, of four millimeters bicone these are swarovski crystals um tear couple teardrops crystals these are so on crystals uh, small ones and then this one main ceramic flowers um, I got a, a bag they're a little bit pricey and they're so gorgeous um, these are smaller ceramic as well and these are actually harder to find and I am running out pretty soon and I could not order some more but I did found some um, polymers they are pretty decent um, but not as nice as that ceramics in my opinion and then a hairpin in silver um, wire this is a 0.4 millimeters in silver something to cut the wire um, uh, e6000 glue that we can uh, finish at the end okay so first you will need to cut about 24 inches of wire and then take three four millimeter bicones and bring them to the middle and then you hold these three pieces and then just twist them about um, I want to say I'm not sure how many times you twist but about less than an inch so that should be good the next step um, doesn't matter which wire you are using uh, but again three bicones and leave this about half an inch gap and then you just um, bend it and then twist it until it meets the middle so you twist this until it meets the uh, the two wire meets each other and then you grab those two together and just twist it about um, five times and then so again the same thing two drop crystal and you just hold it tight before you twist it and again just twist it until it meets the um, all the wire meets each other and then just twist it probably three times and next I'm grabbing the opposite wire this one here gonna take my smaller ceramic flowers and bring it down all the way to the end and then I take my sew on crystals and just insert from one hole to the opposite hole and again bring it all the way down and then here I want to be I want to carefully insert the wire back to that flowers and slowly pull it and as you pull it kind of use the other hand and then support it um, because you want to make sure it stay all the way goes all the way to the end okay once it gets to the end you just again give a twist a little bit of this and then again grab two wire and then twist this together um, okay so the next step I'm taking the opposite wire and I grab the um, teardrop crystals and again you bend it about that long and then just hold it twist it and once it meets the other piece and you just wire them together and then the next is opposite wire and I'm grabbing this small flower ceramic flowers again bring it all the way to the end and again I'll take this uh, sew on crystal and I'm doing the same thing like I did earlier I'm gonna bring all the way down before I insert the wire back to that hole um, because once the wire bend it, it's kind of hard to adjust so just slowly guide that um, piece to the middle to, to the bottom and again once it's ready just give it a little bit twist 
and grab two wires together and then twist them together don't worry about the position of the flowers um, you can later gently reposition them all right so we are almost done and the last piece is just uh, take this uh, biggest flowers and for this I doesn't matter which wire but I would grab the longer wire bring the flowers all the way to the bottom take uh, three bicone crystals bring them all the way down and again gently pull all the way down and insert that wire back to the same hole and gently pull it once you get to the bottom twist it a little bit and then take these two wire and twist just twist about one or two honestly because that previous um i used bicones in the middle but if i had to do it again i would use the bigger so on crystal it definitely looks better than just the crystal so if you want to again you can add whatever color crystal you like okay so the next step we take uh, we're gonna take this hairpin and i'm gonna put all the way to that end and then you just take one wire so you hold one piece there and then you just take one wire and just wrap around the, uh, the pen, hair pen. So I wrap around about five times and I'll take the other wire. So take the other wire, I'm gonna wire across from here to here and then down, okay? So as you as you um, <coughs> wrap it, you pull it so that way it gives you like a very clean look, very neat clean look right there, right? So now since the on the back it looks like this, some people would cut the wire here, but I don't. I like to hide the uh, sharp edges. So what I'm gonna do is gonna bring these two wires together. So basically I'm gonna wrap this back up and wrap this back and then have them meet over this corner. Okay, once they meet over this corner, you hold both of the wire and just, just twist them. Um, it doesn't matter how long, I'm just gonna trim it. So I think right there is good. And just right in, and then I just trim the um, the wire. Then at this point, because of this sharp edge, so what I usually do is I take um, E6000 and just dab it a little bit right there. So after I dab it, I take that four millimeter bicone and I'm just insert halfway, okay? Just use some excess um, glue and I just use paper towels and just kind of get rid of it. So you do need, um, so you do need for the glue to sit at least 24 hours uh, for it to, you know, before you use it. And once it dry, you can gently reposition your um, flowers to the way you want it so these are the two mirrors um, hairpins and um, let me show you on let me show, let me show you this outside and see how they look okay, so these are the finished pieces and i think they came out pretty nice um, it's not too big it's not too small but if you think that this is not enough for you you can always make like another piece of this and put in the middle um, again like these wires are pretty flexible you can bend whichever you like or you can use like a little small bobby pins and just kind of you know pin this down and of course you can wear whichever way you like and um, I think it came out pretty nicely um, if you do make one I would love to see yours and if you like this video feel free to share with your friends if you have any questions you can certainly ask me anytime once again thank you for watching until i'll see you next video